So this thing was way harder to open than I thought. So uh, double-sided foam tape holding the box together. But just tear it open. And this is what it looks like when you first open it. So this shit, oh, it's on Amazon. It was supposed to take two months. It actually took like two weeks. So we just cut the side of the box. This seems to be the easiest way to get it out of there. The front wheel was detached. Handlebars and wires and stuff look like they're already hooked up. Uh, we just need to put it on the triple tree. And here's the parts that need to go on. So the front fender, front wheel, chargers in the bag, along with some hardware, looks like some tools, um, front axle, should be pretty easy to do it. So, so far this comes with the tool kit, uh, pretty much everything you need. I'm not really using it, but handlebars are on. So the easy this just uses a Allen key. Number plate just snaps on. There's no screws or anything for that. And the fender was just uh, Allen key and a 10 millimeter socket. So next is the wheel. All right, what do you think, kid? Love it. We're gonna adjust the levers. They're loose right now, the brake levers. So this is the Razor SX 500. Went together pretty good. Uh, the hardest part was uh, just needed someone to lift up the front end to get that front axle on. So uh, you probably could prop it up on something, some type of a stand or a bucket, but we didn't really have anything that was the right height. So I just had my wife pick it up. Front axle, uh, that was um, a little tricky going in. There's a little insert inside the hub between the two bearings, a little sleeve that uh, was loose, so it wasn't really centered right. So once we centered that up, it went in pretty good. I did put some grease on the axle, which uh, the instructions did not say you needed to, but I did anyway. And the rotor for that front brake, I checked the Allen screws and a lot of those were loose. So I just snugged them up a little bit. So it didn't take very long at all. I wrote it in about a 20 foot diameter circle on the front lawn and it, it does work. And then uh, now we're charging it up. So it's to charge it up for 12 hours before your first ride. So we'll have another video with riding it and we'll see how it goes. My son is seven, almost eight years old and he looks to fit on it pretty good. He can almost uh, flat foot. So uh, height wise, it seems to be pretty good for him.